Welcome back, everyone. It's Dina Calmetti here. And for today's broadcast, as you can see from the intro, we're going to talk about the prophecy wars and rumors of wars. And I try to bring you guys this particular topic in prophecies at least once a year. And around this time last year, I brought you guys my last one. But now there are some new prophecies or dreams and visions that others have had about war with the U.S. and Russia and China. I feel it's especially important to bring this broadcast to you during this particular time period because we are seeing rising tensions between these nations. Now, as I brought to you in prior broadcast, that dreams and visions are actually a part of prophecy. But in case there is somebody new to this channel that has never heard of this prophecy before, I'd like to just share that scripture with you. We're told in the books of Joel and Acts the following. And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And that is precisely what we have been seeing in these latter days. Now the dreams and visions I'm going to share with you are from the website written by Michael Schneider of The Most Important News. Now, Michael is also an author, and he actually just released a new book, Lost Prophecies of the Future of America. And I went ahead and purchased it, and I strongly encourage you to go visit his Amazon account, where he has other books, and also his websites. And I will leave that information below this video. So if you'd like to go check him out, you can do so. But with all of that said, let's jump into these dreams and visions. Over the years, so many people have seen a future war between the US on one side and Russia and China on the other side. The following is what Monique Bizet was shown in December, 2017. Monique goes on to describe her vision. The vision started like this. I was in a room, and before me there was a table. I could audibly hear talks about nuclear war starting, and it had to do with the USA. I had knowing that it was going to be a war all over the world, and I knew it would be World War III. But first, something happened to America. It was either a natural disaster or perhaps a false flag, but it felt very evil and it affected the whole nation. And there were a lot of people dead and injured. There was also a civil war or a revolution. The nation was in chaos and America was already weak. Then I saw a world map on the table where I saw the USA, Russia, and China. And as I'm hearing all the talks in the background coming from different cities in America, I had the sense that the East Coast and West Coast were attacked. I remember doing my own map encircling on a piece of paper, very strong around the world USA. And right next to the USA, I strongly circled the USSR. I didn't write Russia. I wrote and circled USSR. I circled both of them to indicate that Russia was invading America by nuclear war. There was a lot of talk in the background coming from all over the nation. I could hear government agencies talking and the government couldn't deal with all the issues going on at once. Everywhere was chaos, rioting, people crying, screaming, and weeping. Government agencies were on high alert. Ambulances, sirens, alarms, darkness outside, lots of disaster, and invasions all over America. There was plundering everywhere. The nation was in darkness, possibly an EMP nuclear attack wiping out our power grid. There was a lot of commotion and confusion and perplexity. I had the knowing that there was martial law. Russia had been the one that attacked first. Missiles were being launched from Russia and then China attacked. I had a knowing that both nations were in on it. In China, there were missiles already set up and they were being launched from there. There were so many missiles that were coming towards the USA, too many even to count. I then started to draw on a piece of paper where the missiles were and what direction they were being launched from. The lines from the missiles I drew were so many coming out to the US. And I also had a knowing that there was something else, a secret area where they had missiles and bombs and it was a stealth operation. That's the word that kept playing in my mind. This is a stealth operation, unseen, unknown. No one knew where the bombs were. 
but I could see that they were coming from China. It was a secret because it wasn't a known place to the world that they had already all the missiles set up and ready for launching. People were not expecting that this is where they were coming from. And I had a knowing that there are technologies that are stealth, as well as hidden locations that are stealth and unknown. But they already have nuclear missiles ready to launch when they are ready. And then I woke up. And the Lord had given her scripture to go with this dream. Isaiah 47, Jeremiah 50 and 51, and Revelation chapter 18. In another dream that Monique had on May 26, 2018, she said that she found herself driving on a large highway with many lanes coming and going in both directions. It was daytime and there was a great big bridge over which was also a highway. The traffic was heavy and jam-packed and had come to a full stop. It reminded her of the highways in California that are so wide with many lanes and the traffic is usually heavy. They couldn't move. It was almost like a trap. She had the knowing that people were not paying attention to the times that we are living in, that people were just living their lives in their own world, and they were not paying attention or taking heed to the warnings that the Lord has been giving us. And it seemed like a time of peace and safety. And suddenly, Without any warning, she started to hear the roaring sound of warplanes, and in slow motion she looked up to the sky and saw warplanes pouring in, and pouring in by the hundreds. There were so many they were covering the sky. They looked like locusts. More and more kept flying in, and they had no way of escape. The traffic was totally at a standstill, and no one could drive away, perhaps from an EMP attack. In her vision, it happened suddenly with no warning. Now here is a dream from Marty Breeden. And I have brought you guys his prophetic dreams in the past, but this one here is about a sudden attack. It took place on Tuesday, November 5th, 2019, and he is titling it, Sudden Attack. He goes on to describe his dream. Last night, early morning, I had a very sobering dream. What made this dream so different? was that it was as if a dream in a dream. In his dream, he was fast asleep, and then he woke up, looked at the clock, and it said 6.06. .06. He assumes that it was a.m., since it would be unlikely for him to go to bed at 6 p.m. And in his dream, he awoke and looked at the clock again, and it said 6.07. .07. In his dream, he was standing on a very large front porch. It would appear to be a huge governmental building. This building seemed to have an older look to it, as it was brick and had huge white columns and a large white steeple or structure that reached far into the sky in a clock embedded high up. Myself and many others were waiting to attend a meeting. I'm not sure if it was a church meeting or if it was a town hall meeting or a governmental meeting. We were just waiting to attend and there were several things that caught my attention. The first thing was there was a very diverse group of people waiting to attend this meeting. There were obviously people that were dressed very well and seemingly sophisticated. And then there were many others who were more like myself, just plain country folk. I also happened to notice a diverse group of trees. There were pine trees, palm trees, and fruit trees. And then suddenly, and I mean suddenly, we began to feel the very ground shake beneath our feet. Everyone got quiet and just stopped and looked at each other. Then we began to hear the sound of a very loud roar. It was getting closer and closer and closer. And then I began to hear people in the crowd begin to panic, saying, oh my Lord, what is this? What is that noise? What is that sound? And suddenly that which was causing the noise now appeared. It was a large armada of fighter jets cruise missiles and drones completely filling the skies. I could see them very clearly, and they had writing on them that I did not understand, but it was clearly not American. Then I began to see American fighter jets pursuing some of these foreign weaponry. These foreign forces then began to attack both structure and civilian. Crowds of people began to panic. Huge buildings began to collapse. And I just stood there for a second and watched all that was going on around me as the battle ensued. And sadly, there was massive death and destruction everywhere. It seemed that there was not a single structure left standing. And then suddenly the thought came to my mind. In a moment of time, life has just changed forever as I knew it. And nothing will ever be the same again. You know, David Wilkerson wrote in his book, Set the Trumpet to Thy Mouth, that America would be destroyed by fire. That sudden destruction is coming and few will escape unexpectedly and in one hour 
A hydrogen holocaust will engulf America and this nation will be no more. He said that America would be judged for her sin, for her violence, her crimes, her backsliding, her murdering of millions of babies, the flaunting of sexual sin, the corruption, the drunkenness, the drug abuse, its form of godliness without power, its lukewarmness towards Christ, its rampant divorce and adultery, its lewd pornography and child molestations, its cheatings and its robbings, and its dirty movies and occult practices. In one hour, he said, it would be all over, that America would be shaken and set aside by swift and horrible judgments, and boldly declared that judgment is at the door. Prepare, awaken. Now, I myself had two dreams of war, one of which was in Hawaii and the other in Washington, D.C. In my dream in Hawaii, it was a normal day. I was spending time with friends and family at a restaurant, and nothing unusual was happening. Then my friend and I decided to take a walk, and as we were walking down the street, I noticed that all of a sudden, it was very dark, and I happened to look up to the sky and I saw an incoming missile headed straight for us. And I knew, although I can run, I could never outrun this missile. And then suddenly it was upon us, and it struck the very ground we were running on. And then I woke up. In another dream in 2014, I remember seeing the White House, and it was on fire. I saw people around the White House, crying and mourning. I saw smoke rising all around them, with the top half of the White House, blazing with flames. And then I saw military helicopters, and they were black. And I knew in my dream, we had just been attacked. And then I woke up. It seems that many of these dreams happen suddenly, without any warning, sometimes on a normal day, and other times when America is at her weakest. But as far as these wars go, it really shouldn't be unexpected. Because if you've been subscribed to this channel for at least the last six months, you will notice that I report a lot on the prophecy wars and rumors of wars. And the reason why I do that is because A, it's prophecy, and this is a Christian channel that reports on Bible prophecy as it pertains to world events, but also to build a picture of what is happening so that this will not come upon you unexpected. We are watching the rising tensions between the US and Russia, the US and China, the US and North Korea, and Iran. These headlines paint a picture of what is building right now in what will eventually explode into a war. Now we know from Bible prophecy that the Lord told us in the books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke that we would hear of wars and rumors of wars. So with everything combined, we see a buildup of prophecy on the cusp of coming to pass. But maybe you are new to this channel, or maybe you're not seeing the headlines that mainstream media isn't reporting about these events between these nations. So with that in mind, here are just a few headlines in the last few months. World War III warning. Russia states any missile strike may see a nuclear attack. China warns the U.S. serious harm will come to relations over Taiwan meddling. Kremlin warns the U.S. of nuclear retaliation if Russia or her allies are targeted. In future wars, the U.S. military will have nowhere to hide. New technologies enable Russia and China to destroy U.S. bases and logistic networks, including those on the homeland. Russia claims its new hypersonic weapon is ready for war. Russia says new U.S. weapon makes nuclear war more likely, but may have 2,000 of its own. The Chinese military posts video of Hong Kong air defense drills as warning to U.S. Chinese military experts urge Beijing to prepare for war with the U.S. Prepare for war with China. The United States is preparing for a war against Russia or China or both. Would China use nuclear weapons first in a war with the United States? Recent American statements on Chinese nuclear weapons policy merit closer scrutiny. U.S. military defends moves near Taiwan. China sends forces to safeguard territory. So there is no denying at this point that tensions are definitely rising between the U.S., Russia, and China, but especially with China in recent days, as well as Iran and other nations. But is it possible that a war could break out suddenly? Absolutely. One wrong move, one miscalculation is probably all it would take 
Now, hopefully that won't happen anytime soon. But eventually, I believe this is going to happen. And whether you believe in dreams or visions or not, that's up to you. But just look at the headlines themselves because they do paint a story and they do warn. It's up to you whether or not you will receive that and prepare. Now, there's no reason to be walking around all fearful and worried if Russia, Iran, or China is going to attack on short notice. That's not what Christians do. We put our trust, our faith in Christ. And God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Now, it is wise to prepare in case of a catastrophe. And that could be anything. It could be a sudden earthquake. It could be a volcano. It could even be an asteroid. But it also can be war. So it's important to make sure that you and your family are prepared. But the most important thing is to be right with Christ. That always trumps everything else. So I strongly encourage you, if you don't know Jesus Christ, that today you make that decision to give your life and surrender everything to him. The Bible says that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you have any questions, I am here for you. You can email me at cww7news at gmail.com and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So with all of that said, please do leave your comments below this video. I'd love to hear from all of you and please do. If you've had a dream or vision, please do share that with us. But with all of that said, thank you everybody for watching and God bless. Music